somebody was coming into Burnham, my house, I don't think they're going to care if I ventilate or not. So I don't know why that's an issue for me, but I'll work on that one. If you don't faff around and you just get out and get the things done that you need to in the day, then when you get home and you've done everything you need to do, you can then spend your time doing fun and exciting things or relaxing. And the chances are you'll actually enjoy those things more because you haven't got on your mind, oh, gosh, I should be doing my kettlebells, oh, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. So you can actually enjoy yourself more. And it's like a reward for having done hard work beforehand. Okay, sales and motivation. There's two types. First one is away. Second is towards. Towards motivations are things that are nice to have, like Hong Kong or an extension on your house or a new car or anything like that. Away motivations are things that you need to have, so money for credit card payments, to replace the full-time income if you've been made redundant, anything like that. Most people join this business because of their away motivations, to earn an extra £50 a week to help pay bills, etc. But yet when we take new distributors or prospects to meetings, we start talking to them about towards motivations, like, look what you can get with gold and Hong Kong, and what about this car and all that sort of stuff. So we completely go away from their actual interest of why they were looking at the business in the first place. All that means is that they're not getting the information that they need about the business, why they're looking at it in the first place, you know, how long it actually takes to do the catalogs, what they can realistically look to earn. They need to get to the information that they need at that time. You can still talk to them about the towards motivations, Hong Kong and stuff like that, but maybe it's like a, a, a side line. 